Franciscan Pier Battista Pizzabala is a custodian of the Holy Land. He's a person in charge of caring for the places where Jesus lived. He has custody over the Holy Sepulchre, the Calvary, and of course the Grotto in Bethlehem. The Lord is the custodian. I'm only an instrument in his hands, an instrument that wants to keep the memories and the living testimony. To be a custodian means being a testimony in the place that has such a significant meaning for the world. This church is built over the grotto in Bethlehem. It's where St. Joseph and Mary took refuge and where Jesus was born. A star marks the spot where the Virgin Mary placed the child. This Christmas, pilgrims will line up for miles to visit. Christmas in the Holy Land is a very great experience for everyone. It's always something new. It's been 2,000 years since St. Joseph and the Virgin had to escape their homeland because Herod was persecuting them. Today, many Christians feel obligated to leave too. Christians who live in the Holy Land don't see a bright future in store for them or their families. If Christians continue to flee at this rate, some estimate in a matter of years, there won't be any Christians living here. Increasingly, there are fewer Christians, especially in Bethlehem. In 1967 in Bethlehem, 70 percent of the population was Christian. Now it's only 10 percent. That's a very small number. It's important to help them as much as possible with prayers, pilgrimages, because it helps create job and also to help them with any other types of initiatives. Christians in the Holy Land are pleading for help. The majority of them rely on tourism to survive. Israel and Palestine assure the holy places are safe for tourists. That's why Catholics urge other Christians to visit, to get a first-hand look at the living conditions in the Holy Land. Every group of pilgrims that comes here for Christmas is absolutely safe. It's peaceful. There are no dangers. Pilgrims have always been respected. The pilgrimage areas here are always safe. The situation of the Catholic Church in Israel is also a delicate one because the church lives in constant juridical uncertainty. Negotiations between Israel and the Vatican on how to ensure ownership of the holy places have been ongoing for the past 13 years. Negotiations also include a tax system that recognized the rights the church had at the time of the creation of Israel. The negotiations between Israel and the Vatican began 13 years ago. There has been progress, but there's still a lot of work to do. But it's time to finish. It's time to give the church a juridical identity. We can't delay signing an agreement. We need a stable relationship. While obstacles are a part of the day-to-day -day life in the Holy Land, so are cheerful moments. That's why this year, like every year, Christians in the Holy Land and pilgrims from all over the world celebrate the most significant day of the year in the place where Jesus was born.